Let's go. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Another one. Right after the Fall Guys one, we have a brand new game reveal from Ubisoft, of all people, on a random Monday. <laughs> they just like, hey, IGN, take this exclusive. We're going to reveal a brand new Tom Clancy's game. It's called X Defined? Defend? Let me know in the comments. I'm dumb. Let me know in the comment section below how you pronounce it. Again, a brand new Ubisoft title. I missed the live stream of this, but... I am going to watch the trailer, the three minute cut down of it. There also is a like developer diary with a job, tons of information about the game. And it's like an hour long. I'm not going to be reacting to that per se. This from what I've seen of like the little gifts I've seen, I was like, whoa, 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 you be so chill. It is free to play too. So again, got to my, it has my attention. So let's jump in and check out this trailer. Check out this brand new Ubisoft free to play shooter. Plan. Okay. Sliding. Slide cancels. Okay. We're excited to share a first look at a All right. we're developing at Ubisoft San Francisco. <laughs> Basically Call of this Duty. This is our take on a multiplayer first person shooter. We need okay. to get you in early and find out what you think. Our goal is to make a get best in, in class shooter for you, you okay. the players, to compete and have fun with your friends. Okay. It's fast paced firefights. It's punk rock mosh pit. We're proud huh? to introduce our new game. Punk rock Tom mosh Clancy's X Defiant. I got the firefight part. Your feedback is essential to help us make this game great. Later okay. in this video, we'll tell you how to get involved. But first, we'll get into the action. Let's go. Oh, okay. This is a free-to-play, high-octane shooter combining realistic gunplay okay. with personalized classes. All right, that's why I seen the- Those classes are represented in our the, game as um, factions, each bringing unique yeah, gameplay oh and team dynamics. Oh my god, Whoa. Every faction oh, comes equipped okay. with traits, abilities, and an to complement your playstyle and the faction's Whoa, role. Whoa, Ubisoft using that fucking- Each faction is capable of uh, swinging the momentum of the match. Our factions are at the heart of the game. They're inspired uh -huh. by Maverick groups from across Tom Clancy's games and beyond. Oh! From this inspiration, we created new characters and gameplay unique to our shooter. Okay. Century gun. Okay. And we'll continue to add to this diverse cast as the game evolves. Oh. Now, while factions help you define your role, we know to Bro. be a great shooter, the gunplay has to be our top priority. Yes. We have an ever-growing okay. arsenal I like the art. of authentic weapons and attachments. We put a lot of attachments into Two? how our okay. weapons look and feel. We've crafted every uh -huh. Ooh. Okay, headshots. Gunplay. Aimbot. I don't like that scope, but players can mix snipers. and match any faction weapon loadout. Okay. We can swap at respawn to adapt to a change. Swap at respawn. Okay. Personalize your faction and loadout. Be what you need when you need it. Oh my god, what was that? I like can't flies? stress this hard enough. These? We are a shooter first. Okay. And your abilities and ultras create unique opportunities to set up. Was that camouflage, bro? Unforgettable clutch plays. Come on, bro. Oh, Personalizing classes, guns, and insane. gear in a fast paced fight is a whole new experience in Tom Clancy Gaming. Bro. We are super stoked by what we've accomplished so far, and I couldn't it be more clean, proud of our bro. incredible team. This actually looks fucking insane, bro. We want to personally thank everyone that's worked so hard during the pandemic to keep the momentum going on this game. This game looks good. That it's been even harder for some of you. We hope that we can build a community that's a place where people can connect and have fun. And we're committed to creating a welcoming game based on fair play and transparency. Whether you're playing casually or pushing yourself competitively. Just tell us that the you got a... Uh, <laughs> we're gearing up to let you in as soon as possible to okay. register right now to participate in our early rollout phases. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Say we you really got an anti-cheat so and we are in, boy. <laughs> okay, all right. That actually looks fucking amazing. I am excited. They got me. <laughs> they got me. They said they said a couple of things that I love. Said that they're free to play. <laughs> obviously, they got they got me in on that. Um, obviously the 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 shooting looks incredible. The it looks polished. It doesn't look like something they rushed out. It looks like something that 
they've probably been holding back on and they've been putting a lot of time and effort in crafting this world, this game, these like, you know, everything just looks like it's it's been has a purpose and and it's kind of created in a way that it benefits the shooter be unique at the same time being something that you would need in shooters you would need you know crazy insane gunplay with you know accurate guns with accurate attachments and at the same time twisting it up with the class system and having each class do certain different things crazy i can't wait to see like just like the tier list of everything that's in this game. I saw from the bubble shields to like the electric weapons, the shotgun electric weapons to the cert. I'm like, it's just so much that they show that I want like, is that healing the team or giving them extra shields? And then we had the thing that you throw stuff like that and it looked like bees attacking. It's just so much to this game inside of this like little clip, you know, trailer announcement that I can't wait to dive in and try stuff out. And I think that's where a lot of the fun stuff comes like in games like this. Like in Warzone, when the game dropped and we were like trying out different attachments, trying to find out what was meta, I think that what led to the fun of the peak fun of Warzone. The same thing with Fortnite. Every time a new season drops, the the, the peak fun is usually in the beginning when we're trying to find a new meta, trying to find what's the new fun thing. This looks like it's going to have a lot of that new fun thing, trying to find out what's meta, what's what's going to be fun to actually use in these gunfights and, you know, in these game modes. I'm just, I want to just see it all out on the table and, you know, have like a kid in the candy store, just keep trying stuff. I do want to know how they're going to monetize this. Easily, they could drop a battle pass, but I, I'm hoping it's not pay to win. I'm hoping that it is cool enough to jump in and just try for free and be able to access everything. And hopefully that's what they're doing by, you know, saying they're going to have full transparency and they, they're going to be upfront. They want the players to help them guide on what this game actually, you know, becomes. So as far as a, you know, gameplay reveal trailer, if I had to drop a grade, I wouldn't drop a grade because it felt almost like a developer diary with the trailer. Um, but I would have to give it a high nine just on the quality of the way the game presented itself with how, not only how it answered questions, but how it even provoked questions and explained stuff that most gameplay reveal trailers just missed the bark on. So again, I'm gonna have to give it a nine out of 10. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts of the trailer. Let's chat it down, down there. Let me know what you would grade it out of 10. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So again, let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Call of Duty, Fortnite, Mario, Pokemon, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video on to recommend this to other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. This looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.